Hi, my name is Donna Wright. I'm here today to introduce you to a course called Leading an Empowered Organization. This is a very special course. Um, and the reason I say that is it is one of the few courses uh, or the only course out there that I have found that was born in healthcare for healthcare leaders. Now, there are a lot of leadership and management courses out there that are very good, don't get me wrong, and I've taken a lot of them. I've participated in Lean and Six Sigma and other things like that. But those are developed for business, for industry, for other things, and they have a lot of good things to uh, help us with and share uh, with us as leaders to be better leaders. But leading an empowered organization was born in healthcare for healthcare leaders. Uh, Marie Manthe created this course in the late 70s. And she was looking for something that could really help leaders to focus on the unique problems they see every day and, and how to address it in a healthy way to create truly healthy environments. So um, I am now part of the company that manages and, and oversees leading an empowered organization. This is also the company that Marie Manthe started in the 70s. I'm one of the facilitators for leading an empowered organization course. I have taught this course for over 25 years. I will tell you when I first participated in it as as a participant it changed my life it did I'm not gonna uh, hold back on that it changed my life it helped me understand and see very clearly what I need to do as a leader how I need to do that it it changed my life so I hope you feel the same experience with it I hope that you get the, the same enthusiasm from it now this course has got uh, a framework or model in it that helps guide our thinking and I'm going to introduce you to that model because as you get introduced to the elements, there's six main elements um, in the Leading Empowered Organization course that will help you to be able to kind of guide your thinking and think about it. But first I want to talk about just the name of the course, Leading an Empowered Organization. Leading an empowered organization. Now you need to empower people in order to get started with that. Empowering people isn't that hard. Once you open the door and give them the opportunity to participate, most people love it. I would say 99% of people love to be engaged and part of what they're doing, make decisions, have input. Some people don't, you know, there's always that 1%, but most people want to be empowered. So empowering people is not the hard part. Leading empowered people, empowered people is very difficult. Getting everybody to move in the same direction, getting everybody clear on it, articulating the expectations, that's the hard part. And so in order to be an effective leader in healthcare, we need to know how to empower people, but then how to lead them without uh, trying to control them or um, once they start to move in different directions, how do we get them focused? It takes some talent. So that's what this course is about. And these are the tools that this course will give you to help you be able to truly lead empowered organizations. That's what we're going to do. So let's take a look at the model. Let's take a look at the, leading, the LEO model. We call it LEO sometimes for Leading Empowered Organizations, L-E-O. So let's look at the LEO model, the Leading Empowered Organization model and framework. There are six main elements in this model. And in the course, you're going to go through and look at them all in detail and get lots of tools around each of these elements. The model starts at the center with ownership. In the center of this triangle, you'll see ownership. Ownership is the starting point of this model. We need to own our practice, our work, our service. Not just feel like we own it, we own it. We are the organization. We are the organization. And we need to know how to look at that, how to define that, how to clarify that, and how to talk about that. So we're gonna start in ownership and look there. Then around ownership is the empowerment triangle. The empowerment triangle has three sides. Uh, the three sides are uh, consist of building relationships, developing capacity, and leading change. Those are the three sides of the triangle that you need to tend to all the time and ownership sits in the middle. Now, in order for us to do that, the outside of the triangle is really the goals we're, we're really going for. And so if we're building uh, relationships, we're really going for interdependence. Not just being independent, but be truly interdependent, connecting with others for a better outcome. And so we're getting to interdependence. Um, if we're building capacity, we are striving for a learning organization, constantly learning and growing all the time. And if we're leading change, we're looking at not just compliance, but commitment. That's the outside of the triangle. So the outside parts of the triangles is really our goal of what we want to achieve, which is an ongoing environment that we're trying to create. 
Now you notice there's some gray zones in this triangle. In the gray areas, there are some places we get stuck. And we need to be aware of the gray zones. So when we get into those gray zones, we can get ourselves out. So with building relationships, we get into some unhealthy behaviors. When we're looking at developing capacity, we get into some punitive practices sometimes. And when we look at leading change, we get into some problem processing or problem recycling, and we get stuck in that. And we need to know how to get out of that and get to that true commitment. So that's the triangle the empowerment triangle the empowerment triangle sits on a foundation called R plus A plus A R A A it stands for responsibility authority and accountability this is an amazing foundation it helps articulate and ground us in uh, who's responsible what level of authority do we have who's ultimately accountable it gives some clarity around those three things that we desperately need a lot of times when there's confusion or an erosion of trust, it is often because of a lack of clarity around responsibility, authority, and accountability. So that's the foundation that the, the triangle sits on. And then above the triangle is what we call articulating expectations, which is like an umbrella or ceiling above that kind of helps keep us focused on our vision of where we need to go. And so we need to articulate our expectations. And that takes a special talent to help see people see the vision, to help people see not just a, a vague view of the vision, but truly a clarity of the vision. So we'll talk about how to articulate expectations and really share the, the vision of where we're going. So those are the main elements of leading an empowered organization. When you put it all together, when you know where you're going, you see the vision, when you have a strong foundation, you set the empowerment triangle on it, ownership comes through. It will automatically come through when those pieces are all together. So that's what we're doing in leading an empowered organization. We'll take a look at those six elements and give you all the tools you need to be a successful leader in healthcare.